Welcome to the advice show, Medio, the common sense approach. So once again, we're talking about Donald Trump. Donald Trump cannot get any worse or how he speak about people. This time, Donald Trump has sunk to a new low, mocking a New York Times reporter by the name of Sergei Kovaleski. He has a chronic condition called arthrogryposis, which limits his movement in his hands. Well, Donald Trump been having an issue because he stated that when the 9-11 terrorist attacks happened, there were thousands of Muslims that celebrated that. Many reporters come out and refuted Donald Trump and said that he lied. So he tried to attach himself to an article that Mr. Kovaleski wrote when he was with the Washington Post. And he came out and said, no, that's not what happened. That's not what I saw. And this is how Donald Trump responded to this reporter. We're going to roll the clip. It's, and it's talking about northern New Jersey draws the prober's eye. Written by a nice reporter. Now the poor guy, you got to see this guy. Oh, I don't know what I said. Ah, oh, I don't remember. He's going like, I don't remember. I, oh, maybe that's what I said. This is 14 years ago. He still, they didn't do a retraction. Donald Trump isn't a person that you really want them to be in charge of the United States. If you research narcissistic personality disorder, Donald Trump is a clear cut case of that. And one thing you don't want a person that has narcissistic personality disorder to have is unlimited power, nuclear weapons, um, be on the verge of could put us in any kind of war because he don't know when to shut his mouth because he thinks he's going to talk to people any kind of way. See, Donald Trump didn't grow up in a world like me and you grew up in where you have to respect people where you just don't have everything handed to you on a silver platter. You had to deal with, you know, paycheck to paycheck. You had to go without at times. You knew that it was a certain way you had to respond to people. See, when you have that type of money like Trump and his family have, you could just about do or say what you want to people and people will go along with it or even let you get away with a whole lot more due to you having that sort of money. So he doesn't live in the real world. And now when Mr. Trump is being called out on his despicable words and behavior, he going to post a tweet. We'll put the tweet up on the screen. So Mr. Trump now all of a sudden say he don't even know the man, never met him before. But it's quite funny, Donald Trump, that you can accurately describe this man's disability, but you never met him. So you got some ability that we don't know that you need to share with the American people, don't you think, Mr. Trump? Now, some of you may say, what is your deal with Donald Trump? When Donald Trump crossed the line, at least on my aspect, and I notice how dangerous Donald Trump is. And I notice how divisive Donald Trump is being dividing everybody and causing that old 1950s and 40s Klan rally. So I say, oh, no, we better speak up on Trump because Trump going to take this country right back to the dark times of where it came from in the area of just basic civil rights. So, no, Trump is not the guy and he tries to cover his evil, what he say about people, I'm, well, I'm not politically correct. I'm not politically correct either. I say a whole lot of stuff that people don't say who's politically correct. But I understand I have to respect people. One thing you would not see me do is mock somebody who has a disability because the way I was raised was this. Be careful on how you mock people. Be careful if you talk about anybody with a disability because your children or yourself may come out the same way. And I wholeheartedly believe in that. Call me what you want. I also was raised in a time period that if anyone caught you doing what Trump was doing on this television, they would knock your head off your shoulders. This point blank because it was just the most utterly disrespectful thing you could say about a person who's in a wheelchair or has a disability or whatever. You just don't do that sort of thing. And it goes back to you want this man who's extremely childish, cannot articulate his arguments, because even if you have a disagreement with a reporter, what does anything have to do with this man's disability? What he wrote down on a piece of paper, nothing. When a person cannot win an argument, 
they focus on things outside of that. You know, they'll say you're ugly. Um, you don't speak a certain way. Uh, you're not the most successful person. What in the world I got to do with what we talking about? It's because they cannot really win the argument at the time. It's kind of like when you getting in on these people that try to be racist and you win in that battle, they don't want to deflect it to stuff that don't even matter. It takes away from the argument. But with people like Trump and who wanted to like to do that, bring the argument right back to the center. It don't even respond to deflectionary tactics, which that's what Trump was doing with this man. Instead of proving this man to be a liar, he couldn't do that. He knew he caught him with his pants down. Trump resorted to talking about this man in a very despicable way. And I hope you get all the backlash you need to get Trump and anyone who is working with organizations that support people with disabilities. You need to come against Trump and make sure that you go out to the polls and make sure he isn't voted in as president. Let's recap by Trump. First, Trump comes out in the beginning of his campaign and say the legals got to go. They rapists and the Mexico sins is worse than everything else. Like Europe, son, they best. But that's another story. Uh, then he comes out about Muslims talking about they need a national registry. And so that's something he wants to. Then he wants to advocate and get a black dude beat up um, at a rally, even though he allegedly say he had 10,000 people there. But one guy can overrun the voices of 10,000 people and yet it caused this one guy pisses you off so much that you just got to get him beat up and then you get on TV and justify it and say he needs to be beat up. Okay, fine. Now you resort to speaking very despicably on a person who has a disability. So notice the guy's track record. You know, the one thing the word teaches out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Now, what's in Trump's heart is coming out of his mouth. He is a very despicable human being. Why in the world do you want to vote for a guy? Because really, Trump is a piece of crap for what he did on this uh, campaign trail. Speaking about this reporter, and y'all want to vote for that guy? You probably need to examine that. Hit me up in the comments, future commentaries. Subscribe.